Hello I'm Control and welcome back to Random Redstone. Now in this video we're going to be doing something that was actually brought forward via Kelsey and she actually put the idea forward on my Captain Bob Facebook page which there is a link in the description below like there is in all, almost all my videos and the idea she brought forward was cash machines. Now this one took quite a lot of actually doing as this one here is incredibly complicated so this one here, I wouldn't say you really have a go at it unless you actually know quite a bit about redstone. But this one here is pretty much like the easier version of it. Anybody can pretty much do this. So, yeah. Here's the ideas, pretty much. So, this one we have our card, which is card 15. And the reason why we have it as card 15, as both of these machines actually pretty much read the card to see if it's the right card. If it's not the right card, then it pretty much gets rid of it. Well, this one destroys it, this one puts it in a chest. But, still, and, yeah, and then, if it is the right card, you can then withdraw money, which is, in this case, we've actually got it as gold nuggets, which is good. So, I'll use the big one, I'll actually show you the big one first, and then I'll show you the little tiny one. So, let's put the card in, wait for the card to register. It should say when it registers, because I have the money sign come up. There we go, so it's now registered the money. And we have our little, little dis um, kind of button display here, so we have all the way from 1 to 9, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And pretty much just to get the money out of it, you just pretty much step on the button you want. So let's go with five. Let's go with five. So there we go. Just stepped on five. <laughs> Missed it a tiny bit when I was falling, but oh well. So there we go. You should hear me at the, um, the note blocks. That's letting me know that it's gone into the chest. So there we go. We have our five gold nuggets in there. And every single time, gold nuggets go into the chest, that note block will go off to actually tell you that a gold nugget is going in. And then to get the card back, you just step on this pressure plate, and you've got your card back, and the whole thing resets. Now the reason why it's got the letter C there, is to pretty much let you know that you need to put the card in it in order for it to work. So that's that one. You can pretty much have any amount, pretty much from £1 all the way to £9 if you want for that one. So you can even have it so you put in like one amount, and it goes into the chest, then you press another amount. So yeah, it's quite an awesome machine, this that one. But this one is kind of like the version for people who aren't really that good at redstone, really. This one is pretty much there and designed for people who don't know what to do with redstone and, well, really just want an easier option. Because this one, as soon as you put your card in, automatically chucks out one gold at you. Automatically. But it has to be the right card, otherwise it's just going to put it in this chest here. So, I'll pretty much show you in a minute the same, the same with that one, but let's just try putting a random item in there, so we we'll put put an iron block in there, and it doesn't activate the system, it just goes straight into this chest, so it will not work, but if we put in our card, so we have card 15 here, put it in there, and it registers it and give us, gives us a nice golden nugget, so there we go, put that back in there, and you press this button to get your card back, so there we go, press the card, and there we go. Now this one is quite horrible when it comes to the iron blocks and, every, and random blocks because instead of that one which kindly puts it in a chest for you to pick up later this one over here actually destroys the item so yeah just like most kind of cash machine cars in real life do so pretty much as you can see down there there is lava and yeah I'll pretty much show you what it does so it registers it and then yeah as you saw it chucks it into there it's not very nice because you've now lost the item 100% so that's why I did this one a second because we're not going to get that item back now. But if you put the card in, it 100% registers the card and it will not get destroyed, which is amazing. So wait for it to register it. There we go. And then to get the card back. There we go. You're going to change back. Thank you. Now, the redstone for the small one is incredibly simple. It is pretty much tons of hoppers in this formation. I'll just go right up next to them so you can see them. So that one goes into that hopper. This hopper goes into that chest. This one is facing off to so like a random direction, and then this one is facing into this one here. Then this hopper here has a comparator next to it with redstone going like this, with a redstone repeater down there at the bottom, with a block, and then that goes into a redstone torch down there. And that's pretty much the item selector device, which is incredibly useful. Now, the here we have the sensory device that actually pretty much tells you when the item is going to be going in there, so that is a redstone comparator, redstone repeater, and then it goes into a block of a torch on it, then it has all this redstone going around, 
to this redstone will be to here. That goes into this, um, what's it called, dispenser, there it says up there. <laughs> it goes into this dispenser which then chucks out the one, and the one gold nugget, and in order to do it again, you pretty much have to take the card out by pressing this button, which pretty much pushes it out and activates the dispenser, and then you get your, your card back, and you pretty much put the whole thing in again if you want to get another gold nugget. Now, this one, I would definitely say do not even try to attempt unless you are well, a tiny bit good at redstone, as, well... It took me a while, quite a long time to do all the mechanisms for this, so yeah, as you can see, it is very, very, very horribly complicated. It is really horrible, but yeah. Okay, let's pretty much go through this step by step, and I'll hopefully try to explain this well. So, it goes down here, and everything. this is where you, that there is pretty much goes to the hopper where you pretty much chuck your card into. It goes here, and then we have the same item sorting system as you do in the small one. If it is the right item, then it goes through here and through loads of droppers and up into this system. If it's the wrong item, it is shifted across to here, down here, and into this one, this dropper here, which puts it into the lava. Now back to this one here. As soon as it's in here, it is detected by this comparator, which turns off this torch, which goes along here, and turns on this torch, which turns off this torch, and makes it so this system can start actually giving you the money. At the exact same time, it actually goes through here to your display system and actually tells your display system to change. I will put a video, a link to the video which I did of redstone displays in the description below, so you can go check that out. So you can change any of the displays if you want. And as soon as it gets to here, there is a redstone clock here. There is also another redstone clock over here, pretty much, which controls the destroying items and also the items that go sent up by right there. But it goes through here. And it gets sent up via all these droppers going all the way up to here. And it goes via all these hoppers into here. Now there is a comparator here that senses when an item goes into there. And it activates this note block to let you know every single time that an item is going into there. You don't have to have the note block system. But I, I like having it because you know when money is going into there. And you also know how many um, gold is going in there just by actually listening to the amount of noise that's going in. So... Yeah, this system here pretty much has it going all the way up here. There's pretty much a spiral of redstone going all the way up through all of the all of the droppers and everything. So all the droppers are facing upwards to drop all of the items straight in. And for the display, it pretty much has it so there's a comparator going in with the torches going up. And over here, there's torches going up as well. Uh, for this one, instead of having it normal pretty much, we just have it comparator going in and powering it this one. But this one over here actually has a torch instead of powering it, so that way it makes them opposites, which is incredibly useful. Now, this bit over here, it pretty much probably looks like the easiest bit, but this bit is actually the most important bit of the entire system. As this bit here actually calculates how much money it needs to withdraw. So, so it has pretty much like the one, number 1 is over here, and the number 9 is over here. And when you click 9, so if I go activate 9 here... It actually goes through all of these systems and powers every single one of the dispensers. But if you only wanted to use eight, then it goes through all the eight and it only activates the eight that you need to use. So it's incredibly useful, this thing. You can use this in multiple things. Now, it pretty much, it just has tons of hoppers underneath it to collect it once all the, all the um, dispensers have actually dropped the item. But at the same time, make sure you do put the dispensers in the right place, such as when you're actually going to be actually putting it over a layer. You need to have it so it actually goes under one of the dispensers. Otherwise, it will actually take the gold from the dispenser. And yeah, pretty much all the people that take money from your cash machine pretty much have infinite money, which is not that nice. Now, is it raining? Yep, yeah, it's raining just like normal in this world. But we'll just get rid of the rain because I don't like it, even though we're inside. But down here, it's probably one of the most important systems because it actually stops people from literally spamming the buttons down here on the controller while I'm not actually having a card in and then the first person who puts a card in gets all their money which is I don't think is really fair but so you can you can get rid of the system if you if you want to troll people but pretty much it has the let me just go over here again <laughs> it has this bit here which is from the system registry card kind of thing over there and it has the torch here which powers this as soon as it's not powered all things are actually overrided when it comes to hoppers from below. So this thing here will not push up, mainly as this system is off, and the hopper is trying to take it, which means 
all the items get put straight into this chest, stopping people from getting all the money which are from other people's cards, which is very useful. Now, at the same time, this system does actually disable this one as well, by actually having it go all the way along here, via the um, comparator, not a comparator, it's a repeater, I'm getting all things confused, and it actually goes into that block which powers it for the screens, and it also goes into the block and disables this clock. But as soon as it is actually turned off, then that clock activates, making it so it activates all these droppers push all the items up and going into the chest. And it's pretty much just as simple as that, really. And when it comes to here, there is the dispenser, not dispensers, I'm getting, I'm getting everything confused this video, I don't know why. But here we have the sticky pistons, which push the, the redstone block down in order to activate the block. And I've already gone through pretty much all the dispensers and everything. And when it comes to this, try to make sure you do have it on a maximum tick, otherwise there'll be a lot of these pretty much chucking out items which cause a lot of lag. And I don't think anyone wants a lot of lag in their world. So, this system, even though it looks complicated, is actually quite simple. It's actually quite a simple system. And if you want me to do more about this system, then do let me know in the comment section below and I will do a full proper video on how to actually make one of these. Even though it's quite a complicated machine, I'll still give it a go. So yeah, that one's that one. It's got a nice redstone display and things like that. But this one it is, yeah, by far the easiest one to do. And I've already gone through it. But yeah, this one, pretty much the pros and cons of each of them. If you get the wrong item in this one, then it puts it in a chest. And it's 100% okay. You'll be able to get your diamonds back. Even if it's something like, like a diamond block or something like that. You'll still be able to get the items back, which is quite good. This one, pretty much just, no, well, it's kind of a way a kind of a horrible side which is if you put the wrong item in this in this one it destroys the item which well it's both a pro and a con because it stops all your like enemies and things out from withdrawing money but at the same time if you go and put something like a diamond in there or you have a card wrong you used to put accidentally put something like card 10 instead of card 15 then yeah you're yeah you're going to have the card destroyed which is not that nice so yeah now when it comes to the actual sensory item and how it actually senses it then pretty much you have it like this you have 41 of the card there you have stone there or any other item there as long as it's just a normal block and that pretty much is just um, acting as an item to stop her to stop um, any item getting in there so we need to make sure that like, you don't actually put stone into the machine because otherwise it'd be a bit messed up so try and make it like a rare item you put as the as the items there but when it comes down to here, there is one card down there, and that is so it automatically chucks one into there. But apart from that, it's pretty much the exact same system when it comes to the card registry system in both. So, yeah, I hope, Kelsey, this has pretty much helped you with your idea of having a redstone, a redstone cash kind of dispenser things, a redstone cash machine. So I hope it helped, but until next time, bye!